Ulysses S. Grant was an American soldier, politician, and writer who served as the 18th President of the United States from 1869 to 1877. He is best known for his service as a general in the Union Army during the American Civil War, where he gained a reputation for his strategic prowess and leadership. Grant was born on April 27, 1822, in Point Pleasant, Ohio. He was the son of Jesse Root Grant and Hannah Simpson Grant, and he was named Hiram Ulysses at birth. In 1839, Grant enrolled at the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he graduated in 1843. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the 4th Infantry Regiment. In 1845, Grant was sent to fight in the Mexican-American War. He served under General Zachary Taylor and was wounded at the Battle of Monterey. After the war, Grant served at various posts in the West, but he struggled with alcohol and eventually resigned from the Army in 1854. When the American Civil War broke out in 1861, Grant returned to military service. He quickly rose through the ranks, and in March 1864, he was appointed commander of the Union armies. Under Grant's leadership, the Union made significant progress in the war, and by the spring of 1865, the Confederate forces were in retreat. On April 9, 1865, General Robert E. Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse, effectively ending the war. After the war, Grant was widely hailed as a hero and was appointed as the commanding general of the Army. In 1868, he was elected as the 18th President of the United States, serving two terms from 1869 to 1877. As President, Grant worked to rebuild the country, improve the economy, and protect the rights of African Americans. He signed the 15th Amendment, which granted African American men the right to vote. However, Grant's presidency was also marred by corruption and scandal, particularly in his administration. The so-called Credit Mobilier scandal, in which government officials were accused of using their positions for personal gain, tarnished his administration. Despite these scandals, Grant's popularity remained high, and he was easily re-elected in 1872. After leaving office, Grant embarked on a two-year world tour with his wife, Julia. He visited several countries, including England, France, and Japan, and was warmly received by the leaders and people of these countries. In 1884, Grant was diagnosed with throat cancer, and he died on July 23, 1885, at the age of 63. Despite his many accomplishments and his status as a war hero, Grant was not widely regarded as a great president during his lifetime. However, in later years, his legacy was re-evaluated, and he is now widely considered one of the greatest military leaders in American history. In conclusion, Ulysses S. Grant was a remarkable individual who played a significant role in American history. As a general in the Union Army during the American Civil War, he demonstrated exceptional strategic prowess and leadership. As president, he worked to rebuild the country and improve the lives of all Americans. Despite the scandals and controversies of his presidency, Grant remains an important figure in American history, and his legacy continues to inspire generations of Americans.